Hey guys, it's Bax. Um, just wanted to share something super cool. Yesterday, I had the fantastic opportunity to do a painting for a bridal show, so I decided to paint a wedding dress. Something I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, got the idea from watching White Christmas, where they sing the song about Mandy, you know. Um, so, two news stations came up and, and talked to me, and I got on the evening news twice. So, my husband, being the genius that he is, used his little Blackberry and, and videotaped the, the newscast. And so, here's a really crappy quality, but I get to show it to you. Mm -hmm. Well, brides looking for something a little different on their wedding day can go for a unique look from a professional Indiana artist. A painted on gown. Jennifer Baxter showed her work on a model Sunday at a wedding expo downtown. The body paint process takes three to four hours, and the gown got a lot of attention. Most of the time, they don't notice that it's paint um, when they first come in, so there's a lot of double and triple taking. And um, so, yeah, I've been well received so far. The model says the paint is actually pretty comfortable. The artist, though, has yet to actually talk a bride into doing this on their wedding day. As a nod, sort of. A local face and body painting artist painting this wedding dress on the model today at the Indie Wedding Ideas Bridal Show. Jennifer Baxter with Eye Candy Art says cotton and satin are more practical for most brides, but a painted dress can be a way to, you know, maybe spice up your relationship. Women have done it as gifts for their husbands, but photography, do a, a shoot, and as a present for Valentine's Day before. That lady in the background, that was the woman with the dress painted on her. The paint is really just makeup and is safe for the skin. Baxter says using paint, actual paint, would be harmful for the body. She would never do that and doesn't recommend it. Sports over. So was that not like super cool? Um, so special thanks to my really fantabulous model, Sinead Jackson. Um, wasn't she lovely? And hair and makeup, you could see a little bit behind me on that second one, um, was by the wonderful Sarah Morales. So hopefully in the next few days I'll get a little slideshow of the images I took together and post them. But I'm so excited. So um, see you later, guys.